Hello everybody, welcome back to George Clay Photography. Cleaning lenses. We all have to do it from time to time, so knowing how is one of those small things that's worth being familiar with no matter what level of photography you are. And it's pretty simple really, so let's take a few minutes to go through it so that next time you are about to head out on a shoot and you notice your lens is a bit dirty, uh, you can clean it properly. First let's go over what you'll need. So, a clean microfiber lens cloth, not the one covered in lint from the bottom of your bag. A blower, uh, this one has a filter on the intake but that's more important for sensors so don't worry too much if yours doesn't have that, um, it doesn't matter as much for lenses. A soft clean brush and some distilled water. You can get this in hardware stores, uh, some supermarkets and online. Um, I tend to buy uh, big bottles and uh, decant them into small ones, this is about a dollar, uh, and I find that Vape bottles of liquid, for vape liquid, work quite well for the actual cleaning. And uh, this much will last you for years, by the way. Um, so, you may find deionized water as well, by the way. Uh, they are different things, but for the purpose of cleaning lenses, both distilled and deionized water will work fine. Basically, you just need very pure water because regular tap water is like to leave streaks on the lens. Uh, if you prefer to use a commercial lens cleaning fluid, it will do the same job but it's not necessary, water is all you need. Uh, the only thing I would say is be sure to get a quality cleaning fluid. If you are gonna use one, uh, you don't wanna be putting chemicals on your lens unnecessarily. Uh, I have actually seen some people recommending you use acetone, which don't do that. You could definitely damage the coatings on your lens with powerful solvents like that. So, actually clean the lens. First, we're going to use the blower on the surface of the lens. Just a few good blasts across the front element. Uh, this will dislodge any larger bits of grit in a way that has the least chance of scratching glass. Then we're going to use the brush to remove any smaller bits. Just sweep across the lens gently a few times. Uh, by the way, if you don't have a brush or a blower, then just using one will do. Uh, you just want to do something to make sure that there isn't any tiny bits of sand or grit. Uh, they'll get picked up by the cloth and then you know, scratch the lens as you wipe it around. If you really don't have anything, then you can take the clean cloth, hold it by the center, and then use the corners to brush the lens uh, just a few times. Once you're happy that uh, any grit is removed, Take your cloth, apply a few drops of the distilled water. You don't need much, just enough to dampen down a part of the cloth. And then take the cloth and you simply wipe the lens in small circles working from the center out to the edge, just like that. And then when you've wiped the whole surface, take a dry part of the cloth and remove any excess water that's on the surface. Then inspect the lens and if you can see any remaining smudges then just repeat the last step until the lens is clean. This method also works for the rear element of the lens but do remember that you very rarely need to clean the rear element it's almost always covered by either the camera body or a lens cap and obviously it's way less likely to get things like fingerprints on it. Uh, the rear element's also generally smaller so you need to use less water literally one or two drops will be plenty and also never apply the water directly to the lens uh, always put it on the cloth and allow it to absorb before uh, using it on the lens. Finally, don't worry too much about this. Take care of your gear, but it's not going to impact things as much as you might think. Uh, lens Rentals actually did some tests to see how bad things have to get before you can notice any image degradation. I'll link it below because it's pretty interesting and a little bit funny, uh, and demonstrates that we probably stress way too much about this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to get notified for future videos. Till next time.